Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to talk all about the Bing sidebar. At this time it's only available on the dev version of the Microsoft Edge browser when you click this button on the right right here. You also need to have your Microsoft account approved and off the waitlist. If you're not on the waitlist and don't know what I'm talking about, go to my playlist and go to this playlist called Bing AI and go to the first video of the playlist. I have explained all the steps you need to do to get on the waitlist and get approved. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, please go to my playlist section and find the playlists that are relevant to you. All right, for today's video, like I mentioned, you need to have the Microsoft Edge dev version installed and be logged in with the Microsoft account that has Bing Chat approved. After that, if you click this button on the top right, all the options available for the Bing sidebar will show up. The first section here is the chat and everything here is pretty much the same as explained in this first video. The only thing I want to mention a second time here is to make sure that you read the terms of use. What that means is by using any of the Microsoft services like Bing Chat or the Bing Sidebar, you give Microsoft the license rights to all of your data which includes your prompts, your creations or any other data that you might be using here. So my recommendation is to not use any kind of company data or proprietary data or anything you might have signed an NDA for because it might end up being used in an advertisement for Microsoft or any of its partners. All right, let's go to the next section which is specific to the Bing sidebar. So this section is called Compose. Here you can request Bing's AI tool to compose you a paragraph, an email, a blog post or a bunch of ideas in a professional, casual, enthusiastic, informational or funny way and you can get your composition in a short, medium or long form. You have a 2000 character limit here again. Let me try a simple query in a professional tone for an email, which will be medium. An email to my boss explaining why I need to take a week off for mental health. Click generate draft. Cool, I have my email. If you click this button right here in the bottom, it copies the whole thing. You can now paste this in a separate text file. Let's look at the email. Here we have a subject, request for a week off, dear boss name, you can place your boss names here. I'm writing to request a week off for mental health reasons, I've been feeling overwhelmed, stressed, I feel like I need to take some time, recharge, I understand this may cause some inconvenience, I hope you can support me in my well-being. I plan to take a week, week off from this and that. During this time, I will not be checking my emails or phone call. Cool, this looks like about as professional as I could have written it myself. All right, now let us try an enthusiastic blog post about the future of generative AI. Let's make it long and let's generate a draft. Cool, let us copy that again and paste it to my old document. Generative AI is one of the most exciting and promising fields of artificial intelligence. AI has been making headlines due to ChatGPT, realistic and engaging dialogues, DALI, an image generator producing stunning visuals. Then it mentions all the way it can impact businesses like in marketing, in education, in healthcare, in manufacturing and entertainment. The only limit is our imagination with an exclamation. I think this looks like a really nice blog post. I think if we can add some examples here for all of these sections, it would be totally worth posting in a blog. Now that we have two generations, you can click this arrow button to go back and forth. So if you click this left arrow, it goes back to the last generation, which is your email to the boss. And if you go to the right, it goes back to the new generation. For the last one, let us try an informational list of ideas for YouTube videos. Write about YouTube video ideas for AI tools. And let's make this short and click generate a draft. Very nice. Let's copy this one as well. We have how to use AI to generate captions and subtitles, to generate realistic voiceovers, analyze your video performance, to generate personalized video recommendations. These look really good. Comment below if you want a video on any of these ones. How about if I want 10 more? All I do is to click this button which regenerates the whole thing again. Nice, this time it came up with an even shorter response. Let me copy this. Best AI tools for YouTube creators 2022. I think it's still a bit outdated there how to make funny and creative videos. Now if you want to try another generation but stop it in the middle, all you do is click this stop button right here and it will stop the generations. Now let me go over the last button in this section called add to site. I learned about how to use this from my fellow YouTuber AI Explained. I'm going to link his channel in the description below. So all credits go to him. So for this one, if you go to any other YouTube channel, say this one, if you go to YouTube video, and this applies to any other social media where you can add a comment. If you go all the way to the comment section, 
And if you want to add a comment, which is generated by AI, you can use this functionality. Maybe you want to tell your favorite YouTuber about the importance of a microphone. You can use AI to add the comment. So here you say the importance of a good microphone in making YouTube videos and make it a paragraph and make it short and let's make it funny. Do a generate draft. Good mic will make your voice sound clear, crisp. A bad one will make you sound like you're talking through a tin can, a potato or a kazoo. Nobody wants to listen to that. Cool. Now we have a comment generated by AI. You can of course copy this and paste this right here. But the purpose of the Bing sidebar is to use as an assistant. So you can just click add to site and it copies the whole comment right there. And now you can just add the comment. Cool. Now we have a comment which is generated by the Bing sidebar. I think this would work the same if you use on anything which has a comment like section on a web front end like say Reddit or Quora or maybe even Instagram web. Cool, let's go to the next section called insights. Here we get insights on your current web page. Right now I'm on the Bing homepage so I'm getting insights on everything that's on the homepage. If you say New York Times, the insights section will change dynamically. So let's try something which happened very recently which is the Silicon Valley Bank failure. Right now you see insights from this whole search result page. Say if I want to learn more about this article by ABC News, the insights section will change dynamically, kind of aggregating what's in this article and more about Silicon Valley Financial Group. So it's finding information from this article, like if you see here, it says why did Silicon Valley Bank fail? Why did Silicon Valley Bank sell 21 billion bonds? And it's also telling you that its stock is dropping really fast. And this is something specific that an AI tool would do, but maybe not a search engine. Here you would learn more on an aggregate level what's going on with Silicon Valley Bank versus just what's in this article. I want to show you one more thing about news insights which might be unique to the Bing sidebar. For example, if you go to a news article which is paywalled, you will actually be able to get insights from what's inside the post without signing up. So if you go to this article about migrants seeking asylum, you'll see that I can't actually read the article because it's behind a paywall. I might need to submit an email address just to view this. But what if you just want to know what's inside this article without dealing with all that? You can come to this insights section telling you what an asylum seeker is. It's going to give you key insights from this page. See how the source says current page. So these three sections in the Q&A actually summarize what's in this article behind a paywall. So if you want to learn about what's going on without having to deal with ad blockers or paywalls or having to enter your email every time, you can just use the Bing sidebar to learn the basic information of what the article is trying to deliver and move on. I wonder if there's going to be some changes to Bing sidebar for paywalled articles in the future, but at this time you can definitely learn what's inside a paywalled article just using the Bing sidebar. Let me show you another example of using the insights section to get to some information fast without having to dealing with ads or email submissions. For example, I wanted to find some West African recipes and I found this article by Epicurious, right? I want to know how puff puff is made. And as soon as I click this, it's showing me this message that you're running out of free recipes and I have to subscribe to get to another recipe. But instead, if I just come to this page and open the insight section, it will tell me all the ingredients I need and all the steps that I have to go through. And every time you get some information, you can always see that the source is the current page. So it's getting this information from here. So next time, if you go to an article and you have to deal with submitting an email or subscribing, and maybe you don't want to do that just for one article, you can just use the insight section to get all the information you need. But I hope you understand all the features of the Bing sidebar. I'm going to do future videos covering more specific examples with the Bing sidebar. But that's all I have for today's video. I hope you got some value from this. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming out about Bing AI and a lot of other AI tools. Till the next one, thank you so much.